Hey folks, welcome to another VR related video. Uh, today I'm going to unbox and install a new accessory for my Quest 2. So as anybody that's watched this channel is mostly likely to be aware, I wear prescription lens glasses for vision correction. And uh, I've worn them in every VR headset that I've ever had with the exception of the Vive Flow, which I borrowed uh, from HTC for a short period of time. And for that, I was able to dial in the diopters and wear without the glasses. I did also test with the glasses and they fit fine in the event that somebody needed to use glasses with the device. Uh, but today, I have received a package that actually has uh, protective lens inserts for the Quest 2. So they are from Frames Direct, as you can see uh, on the box here. They came with a, a little uh, little box that has this, uh, I think it's a microfiber cloth. And then there's a uh, catalog for their premium eyewear. They don't just do these lenses. These are the Virtua Clear, Virtua Clear lens inserts. And they come in a little eyeglasses case. Uh, so if I open up this eyeglasses case, hopefully they're okay. And I've not actually done this. So yeah, there, there's two lenses. Uh, they come in a little pl plastic wrap. And I'm assuming I'll be able to tell which one's left and which one's right, I hope. Uh, otherwise, that's going to be a little weird. We'll open those up in a second. It does also have a little user guide, user instruction guide. Uh, and I will probably pull up the instructions because it says visit the online FAQ section for a full list of compatible devices. I think that's really just telling me that it works with the Quest and Quest 2. Uh, it literally just says uh, virtual clear lens inserts for use with Oculus VR headsets. Uh, a little outdated. Oculus, of course, is now MetaQuest. I do also want to thank the folks at Essilor of America uh, for sending these virtual clear lenses, lens inserts my way and the MetaQuest Ambassador Program for the hardware that I'm going to feature alongside these in just a moment. So let's take these out of the little plastic protective wrapping. Uh, that does indeed look like a lens in a plastic disc. It's a little strange to look at, actually. So this says possibly the number two on it. It doesn't say left or right. I'm assuming I'll be able to figure that out when I try to install it. And let's look at this one. Maybe it says one on it. Um, not sure. Yes, indeed, it, it does say one. There's a little tiny number one in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. Uh, so one and two instead of left and right is interesting. Um, but let's let's take out the headset. I've got a, a Quest 2 right here. This is my tried and true main Quest 2. I have two one that I use with the Elite battery strap, and then I have this one with the Bobo strap. So we're gonna take the facial interface off because I feel like that might get in the way. Um, and as you can see, I've got little lens protectors. These are the ones that come from the Oculus Fit Pack. Um, I'm gonna pop those off first. First time these have come off actually since I got the headset, so it'll be just a moment while I take these off. Let's just pop right off. I feel like maybe might be good to uh, wipe off the lens a little bit. Obviously using the microfiber would be better, but I'm gonna use my shirt because that's what I do. So I got the uh, lens there fully exposed. I got the second one we've taken off now. And now what I'm gonna do is try to figure out how to align these Oh, there are right and left. Beautiful. So on the other side, that's got an R. And that's got an L. 
So, perfect. Um, so I've got an L and an R. And I'm assuming I'm just going to fit this right here. That's so weird. Um, let's see if this uh, pops into place. It looks like it's uh, fitting just fine. Snaps in just like that. So now I've got a lens on top of a lens, which is a little weird, uh, but I'm excited to see what this looks like after I put this on. This, this is really cool to me. I'm actually very excited. So we're going to snap the uh, right-hand lens on the same way. Just uh, apply a little pressure here. And now that's in place. And now I have prescription lens inserts inside my Quest 2. So those that that's all it took to install. That was that was super easy. Pop our facial interface back in. And there they are. Two shiny lenses on top of two shiny lenses. Uh, we'll test them out in just a moment. I'll jump into an experience and give my first-hand impressions. But one of the things I do want to say is these particular lens inserts or any other prescription inserts may increase the field of view, make it more comfortable to wear. Uh, these ones retail for around $79.99 as far as I'm aware. You can purchase them directly from the accessories page on oculus.com. I don't know if that's going to change to metaquest.com in the future. Just throwing that out there. That could happen. You might be watching this a year from now and oculus.com doesn't exist. If that's the case, check out metaquest.com or wherever they move to. Um, but I'm excited because this is the first time I'm ever going to use these types of inserts in a headset. And if they work out, the end of the video, I'll also give you a coupon code that you can use to get a slight discount. So stay tuned for that as well. For now, we're going to take off the glasses. That's so weird. Jump into a headset and check out an experience. So I'm jumping into Zenith, one of my favorite games so far from this year, which is an MMO I haven't played for a while because I've been super busy with a lot of other stuff going on, a lot of projects, a lot of extra work. Uh, but let's see if my server even still exists. It does. Get SUNY US West. And this is the first time I'm using an Oculus device without glasses on, which is super weird to me. Um, but the text is just as sharp as it would be if I was wearing my glasses. It does feel like there might be just a slight amount of judder, but that just might be because my eyes are closer to the lenses. That is one of the things that the lens inserts offer, that if you have glasses on, you might not recognize immediately. Uh, because with your glasses, you've got kind of some space between your eyes and the lenses that is not present when you're here. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, so, it, it's super strange to me to be playing a game with with uh, no glasses on. Um, I'm only going to play for just a moment just to kind of get used to it. But yeah, I'm gliding like I normally do. Uh, I can see the text of the water elemental's name, the fact that they're level 30. Everything is very clear uh possibly even more clear like i th than than if i was wearing my glasses to be honest um side note i recently got a new prescription for my eyeglasses brand new glasses got some ray-ban glasses they are not ray-ban stories um at, at a local optician anticipating getting these virtual clear lens inserts uh, because I wanted to make sure the prescription was dialed into my eyes. 
Uh, and I do recommend that. If you're going to go with something like this, it may be best to go see an optician or an optometrist or an ophthalmologist, uh, whichever specialty of an eye doctor you actually need for your particular eyes. Because if you have a prescription that is off and you put these inserts in, you're definitely going to potentially feel some discomfort. And, you know, the whole point of virtual reality is to make you comfortable, not to cause discomfort. I see a uh, yellow mark over here. I'm curious what that is. I don't know what I did or did not do here. So <laughs> I'm going to go explore for just a second here. But the text, uh, I, I wanted to play something with numbers and text on the screen. The text looks great. Uh, I can't really tell, honestly, if I have additional field of view enhancements from, from using these. I will say, like I said, at the very beginning, it felt like there was a little bit of not really smearing, but kind of shimmering of the initial menu screen text that I am not used to, uh, but that cleared up as soon as we get off the black text, the black screen with white text, rather. Um, oh, this was a mission that I tried and failed previously. So if we go to Captain Edwin here, I know I'm going to fail this if I try to do it. Uh, but if we go right here, There's these mutinous pirates. Oh wow, now there's a bunch of them. So if I run and hide, there won't be any mutinous pirates, right? Let's uh, let's climb up this wall, see what happens. I don't actually want to get involved in something that's going to kill me <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, this looks good. I'm going to try one other game before I sign off. I'm going to go jump into Tetris Effect real quick, which is, again, another favorite. Yeah, that shimmer is gone on the Zenith screen here. That's perfect. I have to wonder if it was just my eyes getting used to uh, the different lenses. Because even though they're the same prescription as my corrective lenses and my glasses, you know, the curvature, things of that nature might be a little bit different. Uh, but looking at this loading bar on Tetris Effect looks ex extremely sharp. Uh, maybe even more noticeable the uh, fact that it's a screen in front of me. Typically when I'm playing VR with, with things on a black screen, wow, this looks really good actually. So the white text here on black for these menus as opposed to the loading screen, the, the loading screen has kind of like a gray bar. But on black, it looks fantastic here. This is great. So we're going to do an effect mode. We're just going to play for about a minute or so. Uh, do a, a quick mode here. And then we will wrap up and conclude how we feel. Um, so I'm going to just do a play. Uh, let's do quick play. And we'll do a fun one. This is the 1984 level. This is an unlockable level in Tetris Effect Connected. And all we're doing is trying to get to 30... Sorry, I, I zoned out for just a second there. I'm trying to get to 30 lines completed here. You get four right now. 
There is a fifth and a sixth. And of course, you're not going to really hear this because I've got the sound of the gameplay turned off. Um, and that's, that's just intentional so you can hear more from my voice. You might hear a little bit faintly being picked up by my microphone. Uh, but overall, the, the sharpness and visuals, I feel, may be a little bit improved over wearing my glasses, which is not what I expected. I thought maybe it might be a little bit rougher. Uh, because even though, again, this is matching my actual lens prescription, it, it's a different everything, really, from, from my glasses. Uh, so the shape of the lens, the way that it fits into the device, all of that is different. And, and I'm actually really comfortable in this. This is one of those chance uh, opportunities that I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about. I thought maybe I'd wear these once and never wear them again um, because I didn't know how my eyes would react to them. But I, I'm actually really digging these. It's like smoke coming out of the... Uh... This is cool. Uh, I, I really like this particular level. Uh, this game is a dream in, in virtual reality, but... Uh, this level is awesome. And it's kind of hidden. I believe I actually have a video, if you go back in my history, that actually tells how to unlock this particular level. I gotta say, uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, they work really well. Um, I... It's it's strange because I've always felt comfortable wearing my glasses and headset, but wearing without my glasses, not having this little nose bridge on my glasses push against my nose, uh, having my eyes kind of just against the lenses of the headset was actually a bit different, um, and I, I kind of dig it. I figured initially when I put these in that I would be immediately taking them back out again and putting these back in and wearing my glasses on a regular basis, but I'm actually gonna leave them in the headset, at least for right now. Um, I will check back in with the virtual clear lens inserts in the future. I will say, if you have multiple people using your device on a regular basis, it might not be the best thing to get these inserts because you're gonna have to pop them out between users unless you have the exact same prescription. Uh, but otherwise, I like these. Uh, I don't feel like they're unreasonable at $79.99. If you are interested in checking these out, there's a discount code. It's my name, Eric Hartley, 20. The number two, the number zero. So again, Eric Hartley, 20. Put that in text as you're watching me. So you'll see that on the screen as well. And I'll also put it in the description of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is different for me. Uh, I'm not used to getting almost like a medical product for my Quest 2. So uh, let me know your thoughts on me covering this type of product as well. You know, I'll get accessories and things like that, like these uh, AMVR grips right here. But there, there's a little bit of a difference when you're using lens adapters. So thanks for watching, as always. Get out there and enjoy some VR for yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.